Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group and check out this website also where you can find so many project ideas with live version, proper flow, diagram and APIs and documentation and all. So let's start with the video. So in last video, we have seen like what is use state, what is the purpose of use state, how you create the state. So let me just show you that also. So this is how we create the basic state. These were these are the primitive data type. Then we have array and the object also. How we change the primitive data type, it's very easy by using the method, whatever the method name you give, and you can just directly provide the value also. Fine. This is with normal uh, primitive data type. But in case of array and object, if we have to change the existing object or if we have to change the existing array, so there is something different method. So that we are going to see. So let me just create a new component. So in component, I will create use state object. First, we will see object.js. Let's create a component. Now this component we will render over here. So let's comment this. If you are new, please do watch all the previous video, then only you will get it because topic by topic we are going to state object. Fine. So let's close app.js now. So this is the component. Now let's create an object first over here. So constant. And again, it's with the state. So let's say student obj, our method set student obj, then you state just import that round bracket and now we have to create an object over here so what object we will store let's say name a a a comma city pune comma state mh fine so what we have created we have just created an object Inside that object, we have uh, created certain properties like name, city, and the state. Now, what I need to do, I will create a small form. And with that form, whatever the data I enter that, let's say we have a three text box of name, city, and state. So that whatever I input in that text box, that should be updated over here, right? So let's create a small form. Do last name row. Do last name. Let's say call four. Then we will need a label. So label that will be for name. Then we will need a text box. So input type text class form hyphen control. Fine. Let's create one more. Let's put the name over here. Then we will again open a second row. And inside that we will have city and state like this. So first in first row, we are just having going to name. Then we will have city and then we will have state. Fine. So we have three elements also. So now you can see the form is available over here. So what we need to do, let's just add a container class. Let's save. Yeah. So what is our purpose? Now I will print this object also above this div. Let's create a paragraph and I will print this object. Now we cannot print directly object. So I will convert it into a string format. So json.stringify method we can use and put down the object. So you can see this is the object, whatever the basic initialization we have done that you are able to see. Now, what is my task? Whenever I start typing into this text box, my let's say if I uh, typing into the name text box, my name should be updated. Whatever the value I have in this text box, that should be updated over here. Whatever the value I added over here, this value should be updated in this key. This is our task. So we have created our state. Now, respective text box, if we enter value into the respective text box, that value should be updated in the respective key. So for first, for the name. So let's create a function. So constant change name, round bracket, curly bracket. Now this function we are going to call on the on change event from the text box. Obviously we are going to need event. Now 
let me just call this also now on this function on change we are going to call it event arrow function syntax round bracket and we will pass the event fine now this is an object in the state we have stored the object so how do you update it so see this is the method name round bracket now we have to make use of the spirit operator so how we used to make the spirit operator to update the existing array to clone and copy like that fine so what we will do let's say old obj just a variable i'm taking so here we will get the current object then here curly bracket dot 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 old obj so what we are doing we are trying to get the existing value from this state then out of that what we need to append name so name colon what will uh, what will be the value even dot target dot value so target dot value wait sorry round bracket we need i forgot the round bracket fine so this is how you change the object so see the syntax properly method name then old object then arrow syntax spread operators what what this will does it will get the current object whatever the current uh, value this state hold it will get that from this current object what we are doing we are just changing the only name value fine so let's just check now so currently in the name we have a let's reload now if i start typing you can see once i start typing that text box value is getting appended to the state in that particular field getting it so this is how we change the object so just like change name we need to create another method so constant change what is it city again we will going to have event same set method set student object round bracket it's not that like you can give it as old object you can just give anything sorry over here obj round bracket inside that curly bracket dot 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 sorry dot 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 obj it will get all the data from that what we need to update city colon so event dot target dot value like this let's save and check so name is getting updated let's try so by default pune is there let's try passing mumbai it's not happening let's see why event dot target dot value and city also so it's student of okay we didn't call this function so see this function we have created but didn't call see if we have created this function this we have used somewhere so it is highlighting but this function is not used so it is not that much highlighted now on change round bracket event function and we need to pass the event also so let's save and check fine name is getting changed if we pass mumbai so see it's getting changed so this is how we deal with the object this is how we change the object fine now here you might see like this is kind of a repetitive thing correct let's say you currently we just have three input fields so you can create three function but what if we have 50 field right so there is a shortcut method also we will cover that in the form like how do we handle the form this is i just wanted to explain like how do we how do we update the uh, state in case of object fine by using spread operator so now just like this we can update the array also so let me create another component we will take one more example so in rsc new file use state array dot js rsc you also do the same thing for every small small topic keep on creating component so uh, there will be a practice of creating component as well and you will have a hands-on experience also fine now then we need to bind uh, we need to render it also in app.js so let's comment this after that use state array we need to bind fine let's close app.js now here what i will do i will create an array of city constant square bracket city list set city list let's sorry use state let's initialize to 
array with let's say Pune and Nagpur. So what I have done, I have created a state and in that state I am storing the array. But while initializing, I am just assigning two elements. Now what I need to do, I will create a simple form class name row call three and inside call three we will have a text box fine just pay attention what i'm doing we are just rather than doing just a normal way i'm just taking a practical example mm -hmm. class name form hyphen control and after this column we will have another column where we will have a button so input type button and here class name will be let's say btn btn success and value it's a button so we have to add a value tag sorry it will be add city let me just save so see this is how our syntax uh, our ui is so we have created an array of city list and that city list we will print it also somewhere then only we will get to know let's create a bad p tag fine so currently you can see in the array we just have two element pune and the nagpur now what i need to do if i type something into this text box i need to add this type text box into my array means whatever the city i have added in the text box that city i need to add to my array so this is like adding new element to the state fine but again we need the uh, value of the text box so how do we get the value of the text box again we need to create the state so constant square bracket sorry it's city city name set city name it's just a normal way you state we will initialize with empty and we will need one function which will hold the data into that way into this state change sorry i am taking change city event fine now this we have to update event dot target dot value and this event we will call once the text box change so once user type the value to the text box he that text box value will be hold to this state fine on change event sorry this function we need to pass it over here and we will pass event as a parameter fine so what we have done till now we have created an array again we have created a normal state a normal very normal state where we are going to store the city name we have created a function which is responsible to update the state name of the city now this function we are calling on the text box on change event fine so once user type the value into the text box that value will be hold in this state now on the button click we need to push this city name into our array so let's write a click event and this will be add city so normal function let's create this function constant add city it won't have any parameter now how do we update the city so this is our method name set city round bracket old list arrow function square bracket dot 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 you will get old city over here old list means whatever the current data we are having in the state we will get it over here after that we are adding new element so how do we add the new element in this state we have so city name we can pass it over here let's save and check so currently we just have two state let's try mumbai now if i click on add city see that is getting appended over here let's try jabalpur add city getting it so here we are doing multiple thing on the text box change we are reading the text box value and storing in the city this state because this state we will finally add uh, push it to the city array right so in case of array we update like this just like this object also see an object 
it's a key value pair data so from the old object what new key value pair or which key uh, keys value you need to update so that key you need to specify and the value but in case of array you are just passing the new element to add so we do like this so again we are going to see this with so many scenarios when it comes to forms and everything but in this particular episode because last video was related to state how we create a state how we object update the state with primitive data type it's very easy but in case of array and object we have to make use of the spread operator to update the existing state value so these are this is the way how we do that fine so i hope it is well understood now i will start in hindi so last video man ne dekha tha ki state kaise create karte hai ki jaise maine bola tha ki state consider it as like a variable fine but it's just a state a state value can be changed or modified over the time of period theek hai to agar string number boolean aur date hai to wo primitive data type pe bahut easily set ho jayegi set method round bracket mein uski value bhej do fine but array aur object ke case mein existing jo array hai या फिर एग्जिस्टिंग जो ऑब्जेक्ट है उसमें से किसी पर्टिकुलर फील्ड की वैल्यू चेंज करनी है तो हमें ये मेथड यूज करना पड़ता है आपका मेथड का नाम जो भी वैल्यू देना है यहाँ पे ओल्ड ऑब्जेक्ट लिखो ऑब्जेक्ट लिखो जस्ट लाइक अ लैमडा एक्सप्रेशन है ये राइट कुछ भी लिखो उसके बाद राउंड ब्रैकेट कर ली इट्स एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो कर ली ब्रैकेट उसके बाद डॉट 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 जो भी आपने नाम यहाँ पे दिया है तो ये क्या करेगा करंटली स्टेट में जो ऑब्जेक्ट है ना वो पूरा ऑब्जेक्ट लेके यहाँ पे आएगा उसमें से कौन सी वैल्यू चेंज कर रहे हो नेम की वैल्यू चेंज करो और वो इवेंट डॉट टारगेट डॉट नेम वैल्यू बिकॉज ये हमने कहाँ पे कॉल किया टेक्स्ट बॉक्स के चेंज पे सो so, जो भी टेक्स्ट बॉक्स की वैल्यू मिलेंगी वो यहाँ पे दे रहे हैं हम और इसलिए वो अपडेट हो जाती है सेम लाइक दैट इन केस ऑफ अरे वी डू लाइक दिस वहाँ पे ऑब्जेक्ट था इसलिए राउंड ब्रैकेट और करली ब्रैकेट लिया यहाँ पे ऑब्जेक्ट है सो डायरेक्टली ऑब्जेक्ट लो फाइन सो दिस इज अ वे अपडेट ऑब्जेक्ट एन अरे वेन वी स्टोर इन द स्टेट सो हम ये बहुत यूज करने वाले हैं अभी अगर बहुत नया भी लगने वाला है तो जैसे जैसे हम आगे जाएंगे आपको आदत लग जाएंगे इसकी कि कैसे करते हैं और वन मोर थिंग कि जहाँ पे आपने देखा कि हमने तीन एलिमेंट क्रिएट किए थे अब दो एलिमेंट की वैल्यू चेंज करना तो मैंने दो फंक्शन किया राइट right? अभी दो तीन ही एलिमेंट थे तो ठीक है लेट से पचास एलिमेंट है आपके पास पचास फॉर्म में एलिमेंट है पचास पचास कीज है ऑब्जेक्ट में या ट्वेंटी मोर देन ट्वेंटी या थर्टी समथिंग है उतने फंक्शन तो नहीं बनाने वाले तो इसका हम रियूजेबल सिंगल फंक्शन बनाते हैं तो वो जब हम फॉर्म फॉर्म स्टार्ट करेंगे तब मैं वो कवर करूंगा फॉर्म वैलिडेशन उसके साथ ही मैं वो कवर करूंगा बेसिकली एक एपिसोड में मुझे सिर्फ ऑब्जेक्ट कैसे चेंज करते हैं तो वो बताना था तो ये एक मेथड है जहाँ जिससे हम ऑब्जेक्ट में से पर्टिकुलर की वैल्यू पेयर डेटा सेट कर सकते हैं अगर हमें कम्प्लीटली न्यू ऑब्जेक्ट ये ऑब्जेक्ट है और कम्प्लीटली न्यू ही ऑब्जेक्ट करना है तो वो भी कर सकते हैं डायरेक्टली वैल्यू भेज दो बट अगर ऑब्जेक्ट में से पर्टिकुलर फील्ड और वैल्यू चेंज करना है तो ये तरीका यूज करना पड़ेगा Just like that in array also. ये अरे हमने इनिशियलाइज किया है लेकिन पूरा टोटल नया अरे असाइन करना है तो फिर ऐसा करने की जरूरत नहीं है डायरेक्टली नया अरे भेज दो यहाँ पे चलेगा बट एग्जिस्टिंग अरे में नया एक एलिमेंट एड करना है तो ये एरो स्प्रेड ऑपरेटर वाला वे यूज करना पड़ेगा फाइन सो इफ यू आर न्यू प्लीज डू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब